to them a chef record a cooking show anyway i did the pancake where i make the pancake the world best pancake in this world and now i'm gonna make the world best ruffle make from chef ricardo this recipe is going to be amazing everyone been using all different kind of stuff to make their waffle i'm gonna show you one of the easiest way to make this at home in your kitchen first thing you need one cup of self-rising flour the reason why i'm going to be using the self-rising flour because most people normally use plain flour but i'm using self-rising flour the reason why i'm using the self-rising flour you don't need to add baking soda um, baking powder all right so you can just add your baking soda so right here we have the flour so all i'm going to do now is put some sugar you can use sweetener if you want to be more healthier instead of using sugar all right you might have wondered what is sweetener all right that's what we're going to be using we're going to be using the sweetener because sweetener is a little bit more healthier more than the sugar all right so this is sweetener sweetener is for you know what i mean a lot of people doesn't like to use sugar so they use sweetener so we're going to be using four tablespoons of the sweetener so we got one two three four tablespoons of sweetener if you don't want to use a sweetener you can use sugar okay guys because uh, you can use brown sugar if you like to okay all right so we have we have the flour and we have the sugar all right now we're going to put some salt we're going to put one we're going to put a teaspoon of salt inside of it so let's measure out this tea, the salt one teaspoon i'm using a teaspoon that way you used to make a tea at home all right so that's out the way as you can see it for yourself all right baking soda we're gonna put one and pint eight baking soda so it's not going to be a lot it's roughly about a quarter teaspoon of baking soda because you have to be careful you don't want it to be over strong so you have to be careful with baking soda because baking soda is very very strong all right as you can see it for yourself all right 1.8 baking soda so that's gonna be about roughly about a quarter of your tablespoon right there your teaspoon i mean guys okay so we have the bake we have the flour we got the sugar and we got the salt and we got the baking soda all right number five number five after we do all of those things what we're going to do is simple use your whisk and the simple mix it together like this all of the ingredients come together all right now we're going to be using egg yolk let's go to egg yolk section all right so you need to separate the egg um what we're going to be doing we're going to use one egg yolk you might have wondered oh i'm gonna get rid of my egg yolk it is easy you know guys you know what i mean yeah look at this you know what this is the egg yolk which i'm putting inside of it once you add the egg yolk then what you're going to do is add a cup of milk you can use rice milk or you can use water but i'm just going to be using some milk instead of my one because the milk definitely will bring off a lot of fruit so i'm gonna add the milk straight inside of it like this look at that and you just take a little time and, and mix it around you don't need to whisk it too heavy all right let's take a little time and mix whisk it around all right so once you do that then what you're gonna do you're gonna get your egg yolk your egg white not the yolk the egg white and i'm just gonna simple whisk it around you 
don't need to you can whisk it till it get fluffy but you don't need to you know what I mean you can just simple give it a, a nice little whisk because I have it in the bowl I'm just whisk it in the bowl until it gets really frothy a little bit all right that's it you don't need to too stress yourself on it all right guys so now we're gonna just add the egg yolk to it, the egg white to it all right just like this take a look at time lovely and nice okay so now we're going to add two tablespoon of butter which we already melted take a look at time and for the team that is lovely and nice so we have we have the we have the milk and we have the butter and now we're going to add oil we're going to add a large spoon i'm just using some veg you can use vegetable oil or sunflower oil or whatever oil i want to use corn oil one large tablespoon And just give it a lovely whisk like this all right that is fantastic guys that is lovely but normally you could add i just add all of the ingredients them together guys so in the meantime i'm going to warm up my waffle maker all right so this is it a little bit runny but Hopefully it's for the best. I don't, you know what I mean. It's a recipe which I used a few months ago when I was doing my first video with it, and I said to myself, I need to um, do this recipe for the fans. And but I'm just gonna be transfer this into a, uh, another container. If I, you know what I mean. It's just, this is doesn't different from a pancake mixture, guys. You know what I mean. It's just similar to a pancake mixture but there is a little bit of twist towards this one because certain of the ingredients that we use in this we doesn't use it into the into the pancake all right but it's a similar recipe and definitely i will definitely do some more waffle because uh, a lot of people been asking me for the recipe and i've been decided to give them the recipe over and over so basically this is the waffle maker so what you do i'm warming it at the moment turn it on and get it warm as you can see for yourself what i'm doing right here all right guys so take a good look i'm just gonna show you exactly what's going on that's it is right there so you need you need a waffle maker to make your waffle at home all right guys so as you can see for yourself now what we're going to do now to show you exactly all you have to do is simple spread your waffle just like this i know it's may it may it's gonna be like all over it but you'll be all right it will spread take its time and spread all right guys look at that all right i don't want to mess up the whole place so now what i'm going to do is put on my waffle maker just like this and i'm going to leave that for it to make in the next few minutes you will see exactly what happened it doesn't take long to make i'm gonna make some nice lovely fluffy fluffy waffle from chef ricardo today look at that steam coming out of it it's cooking it guys lovely and nice but hopefully <laughs> because my first waffle break up and i'm using this new one now so let's see what happened i never used this one before but hopefully it will come out the way we need it to come out guys fluffy and nice and that's exactly what we're looking for we want it to be fluffy and looking really good and nice but you can see it it's cooking that kind of steam coming out of it really nice you have to have one of these at home guys honestly 
All right, let's take a good look what's going on. One, two, three. Ah. What do you think, guys? Tell me what do you think. Let's see exactly. Beautiful. These are nice. These are very, very, very nice waffle. I like this one. Okay. Give myself a big clap. Long time in a make waffle and I decided to make some for the fans and too. And as I say, you don't have to. Let's take it up. Perfect. All right, I still have a little bit more left. So what I'm going to do now is simple. Make a little bit more out of this. That is beautiful. See that for yourself, guys. You can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, let's put this down. All right. Nice and lovely guys. So basically, let's see what's happened. That's the other section which I just made. Um, yeah, really nice. They're lovely and nice and soft. Remember, I told you you don't need to use some some person when they make it, they use like yeast and all these things. It's too much, you know. What I mean, yeast doesn't good for us. You know, so this is just a simpler recipe which you can use and I didn't use sugar. You know, the other rest of stuff where you put on top of it is just to make the waffle a little bit more sweet and all these things. Alright, enjoy it. And as I said, long time in I make it and I decided to do a recipe today. And hopefully let's remove this one, put it one side, let it cool down. And I decided to give them a simple little recipe. You know? Alright guys. So please enjoy it and subscribe. Leave your comments in the description box. Please tell a friend. And a friend tell a friend. Here it is. So if you're at home and you want to do something with the kids them. This come in really handy. You know what I mean? Alright. So if I'm at home and I want to do something really nice. That's the waffle. Alright. And you know the kids them love waffle. Simple. Get one of the waffle them. And they're really soft and nice. All you have to do is simple. Put a little bit of come down. This is some um This is some milk chocolate syrup. Put a little bit of that on it. Alright guys. And then I'm just showing a chef card a recipe. Some strawberry. look at this so when you're doing waffle and all them things that this is what makes the difference is what you're gonna put on top of it is that's gonna make the difference and my recipe is a very simple like a unique recipe there's nothing to make anyone have to stress themselves oh my god we're gonna get this we're gonna get that you know what i mean
You see my recipe? That's exactly what I'm talking about right there, guys. As you can see. All right, I'm gonna finish it up with some blueberry. You know? Can put ice cream, a lot of stuff can go on top of it. Yeah, that is fantastic, and that's even much healthy. That's simple on some of the all right I got some fresh cream I want to use This is what's gonna happen. Look at this. See that? That is fantastic and amazing. Simple like a recipe, homemade, you know what I mean? Waffle at home. And you can just do something like this. And they know you guys definitely will love it. It's just a simple little thing. But it's really lovely, and as I said, Chef Ricardo waffle is the number one recipe in this whole entire world. Very easy one, you know. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus me. Yeah, your favorite recipe, Chef Ricardo homemade fresh waffle. Enjoy it, and I will see you next time with more recipe because I will be coming with some more recipe because I have a new waffle maker. See you next time, guys. Bye bye.